I'm Karen Calabrese and welcome to Karen's Kitchen. Uh, today we have a guest in the kitchen with me, Alicia Saman, and we're going to make something very simple and easy. We're going to do a whole series of videos, simple, easy, difficult, but Alicia, I wanted you to have something very quick that you can make and impress your friends and family with. And what's the best way to get friends and family? Dessert, okay? <laughs> we don't want to give them wheatgrass, we want to give them dessert. So this is a very simple recipe. We are going to soak our nuts. And do you know why we soak nuts? No, tell me. Okay, the reason we soak nuts is because you break down the enzyme inhibitors and the fats, and you literally bring them alive. And when you bring them alive, it takes less to fill you up. All right, so if people are looking to lose weight and they want to eat lots of desserts, these are the desserts for you with soap nuts. And we also find that people with nut allergies don't have the same reaction to them, right? So we always soak our nuts and we soak them, uh, I usually do it overnight. Does that sound weird to soak our nuts soak. overnight? <laughs> so. I like the way it sounds. <laughs> okay, all right, and we're going to use, so I'm going to let you make this today, okay? okay? Yes. What and have you ever worked with a Vitamix before? No. Okay, the Vitamix is the best blender to me on the planet. I know there are others similar, but what's so great about it is most of your blenders just go loud, louder, louder, right? Mm -hmm. This has something on it called a variable, so you can control it. And we're going to start with it low. So these are some nuts that we've soaked for you. We'll have the recipe up for you afterwards that you can pull it up, all right? Okay. We're going to make banana pudding. I didn't even tell you, we're making banana pudding yes. today, all right? Oh, I'm so I excited. was keeping it a secret. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so dump them in. Dump them in. Um, oh, we're going to use purified water. So that's probably about two cups of nuts, and this is about two and a half, three cups of purified water. We're going to put that in there. She's cooking, folks, okay? And then we're going to add some, well, I think we've got honey today, or you could use agave nectar. Do you have a favorite sweetener that you like since you've come honey. to this? Honey, I like honey. Okay, a and lot. I, but I do like agave nectar. I really do. And a lot of vegans don't consider honey to be vegan, mm -hmm. but um, you know what, we'll use it today. Let's use a little honey today. Uh, you know, let's okay, not much? dump it all in. What, what do we have? About a half a cup here? About a quarter of a cup? A quarter of a cup. Yeah, let's dump it in. We're going to put in a little vanilla. You do that very well, Alicia. You've been doing this your whole life, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's basically like making a smoothie. And this is vanilla, you said? Yes. Okay. And just to add a little bit of extra health to it, we're going to add flax oil. But the other thing that flax oil does is it gives it a buttery kind of fat taste to it. And why is this good for our bodies? It's good for your bloodstream. It's good for your arteries. Uh, flax oil is just very good for the body. It's a good oil, and we do need some fat. So let's put some flax oil, but it's going to taste buttery for us. We're actually going to use ground flax, too, in the um, finished product. All right, let's put the top on. And the beauty of this machine is you see you've got a little hole in there so we can use it if it's not breaking up fast enough. So let's start it on low. So just keep it low and now turn it on okay. here. Okay. Now you can gradually nice okay. and creamy all right so we're going to take this product and we're going to pour it in a dish and we're going to put it in the refrigerator and the oil and the nuts will kind of harden up a little bit and it'll get a little bit thicker than what it is right now okay. all right so through the magic of tv what we did though because this is going to be a little loose and you could use less water if you wanted we put this in the freezer for a few minutes and that helped thicken it up thicken it up too to be more pudding like all right okay. so so you want it for everyone for our friends and families that are watching, so it's like a thick consistency. More like a pudding. Okay. Cool. Right? And what you could actually do to thicken up even more is put a little bit of psyllium in it. That okay. would thicken it even more. Okay, a little flex. All right, now we're going to build it, and we have some sliced banana because it's banana pudding, and we're going to actually add some extra flax to it, all right, okay. just for a little bit of different consistency. So let's start with putting a few bananas in the bottom. Here, I'll give you a spoon. You can build yours. Okay. And it's great to have kids can work with you with these, too. You I know? know. I like this. And then we'll put a little bit of flax on top. And then let's start adding the pudding. 
should we should put that in a poor thing. I mean. And you could actually you could use any fruit with this, right? You could build it with any fruit. Oh, like strawberries, blueberries, blueberries, blackberries. Oh, you can do like Fourth of um, Fourth of July strawberries and blueberries. And She's like a natural already, yes. folks. Okay. And you know, we all really know what to do in the kitchen. We all vibrate in the kitchen. Right, now let's add a little bit more flax, but I don't want to wet my And flax. this is so simple. Do you remember what we put in here? I mean, it's, it's like, what, two or so ingredients? Water, mm -hmm. honey. Or agave. Or agave. Flaxseed. Flaxseed oil. Uh, and a little vanilla. And a little vanilla. And banana. And you have it. Wait till you taste this. Can't let's wait. see how easy. Let's put some flax on top of that. Let's put more cream on. I probably recommend you put this in a little pitcher, folks. It'd make it easier and neater to do. We don't really care. This yeah, is just for we us. We like making it messy. Okay. Just keep building there. Maybe add a little bit more. Fun. What better way to get in all your vitamins and your healthy stuff for the day and your protein and calcium with the nuts? The uh, Lots of protein and calcium with us. All right, I'm going to put just two on top. It would probably be very pretty if we had a little piece of mint or raspberry to put on top. So the magic of TV, can we get some mint to, uh, just to make it a little prettier? Because presentation is everything. You sound like my mom. Well, it gets the digestive juices going. You see, visually when you look at it, it starts the digestive process. So it's important to make everything pretty. That's why microbes are so bad for us. Why? Because you don't smell anything, you don't see anything, it changes the molecular structure of the proteins to something your body doesn't recognize. So the visuals are everything. All right, we're gonna... Well, let's get ready for the party, Alicia. All right. Okay? Let's make so it pretty. So I, I love a little raspberry on there. Okay. And a little mint. That looks like oh, a, looks isn't so that nice. beautiful? Yes. Okay. Let's, let's go try it. Wait to try it. It was so easy. Okay. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. Mm. Oh my God, that <laughs> is so good. This is bomb. Seconds. This is, this is such an easy, quick, and your children, children would love it. Mm -hmm. your, your parents would love this, right? See, taking care of yourself is good, this is and it tastes good. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to spending lots of time with you and sharing all these fabulous recipes that I've been making for years and years and years. Quick, easy, gourmet, difficult, whatever you're looking for, we're going to have it at the Karen's Kitchen YouTube channel. Thank you so much, my sweet and beautiful Alicia. Thank you for having me, Karen. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Make it.